Hi everyone, Rory Neary here from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Today we're going to take a look at how it is you use Power Apps to reset your controls. It's not necessarily the sort of thing that you would want to do every day, but it's the sort of thing that when, when you need it, it's really important to know. So okay, let's just dive straight in. I'm going to jump on to... Uh, an app that I prepared earlier. I'm going to show you there's actually a number of different ways of resetting a drop down. And what I'm going to do to begin with is just show you uh, them in action. So <laughs> it's actually going to look exactly the same. So I'm just going to sort of change this to apples and I'm going to use the imperative version that resets it. And I'm going to change it to plums and I'm going to use it, uh, reset it using a variable which is effectively. Uh, declarative way of doing it and now I'm going to show you under the hood so we just seen that they both reset the drop down which is kind of okay now the first one is pretty easy to read what it says is on the button on select reset DD tutorial and this control here is called DD tutorial so it's really easy and you know and if and if you had um, if you had Actually, I won't do that. I will do, uh, if I did a text input, for example, um, and I called it, uh, I called it, rename txt input tutorial. That looks about right. And I added to this, uh, reset uh, txt input tutorial, and then close the brackets. What we would find is that if we then start to use it and we were to uh, change this here to be just a few letters, then what we'll find is that they will both work. So they both got reset. Now, what we can see here is that if I change this to pairs and I do reset using variable, but I change the items here, the bottom one will reset, but the top one won't. Okay, and that's because the bottom one. If you go onto this, uh, onto, if you go onto the control here and you go on to the reset part of it, I've actually connected whether or not it resets to a variable called GV reset. So, what is this variable GV reset? Well, in actual fact, if you go onto this, um, if you go onto this, uh, this button here, what you can see is that when you select it first of all it sets gv reset to be true and then it sets it to be false and essentially the true means it will do the reset at that point and the false means that it's now ready to be reset at a future um at a future time so that's that's kind of what's going on so the, the key there is that you are looking at the reset um property of the control and we and we can make it work for this one here if we go and go to the reset property of the control currently it says false so it'll never reset but if we change it to be gv reset then the then the resetting will work uh, off this button here because it'll do it'll go to true and then false a flick back and it changes and you can just keep doing it as many times as you like of course so that's that take that's the basics of of resetting things uh what i'll do now is just take you across to um just a slightly different version which is when you when you're when you're using it for forms because actually there isn't um it doesn't work quite the same way there's actually a slightly different command that you need to use now i just need to jump onto the right place yeah that's that is the right place. So we're on my we're on my form here, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start from the browse screen, and this is just some made up tasks. Uh, and so if I hit the plus button here, then I can put some data in, and if I click reset form, then it resets the form, which is great. Now there is a bit of a trick to this in that. If I if I use the command reset form, what it it's it's a slightly peculiar in that what it will do is is it kind of moves the form into like an edit 
state, which means that the item that it's selected on is the um, the one that has been selected within the gallery, which is a bit silly, really. So the way around that is that you go on to here and on select you reset it, which is great. But then we need to move it into the, effectively the new form mode. New form. Um, new form. Edit form one. I think it's called that. Of course it is. And, and at that point, what it'll do is it'll firstly reset it and then secondly move it into the new form mode. And unfortunately, you would think that you could click on it um, just only use the new form mode and it would reset, but that's not how you do it. This is the right way around. So, so what we've looked at here is uh, a number of different ways of resetting things within Power Apps. So hopefully that least, you know, it's not every permutation of reset, but it certainly will take you a long way to uh, being able to make your forms and controls behave in the way that you want them to. Well, thanks for that. And uh, uh, just subscribe if you want to uh, see more videos as they come out on a weekly basis.